Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library. And today I would like to show you an e-resource called Novelist Plus. It is a reader's advisory database. So if you're not sure what to read, this is a great database to use. So to get to it, you go to our website, www.sapl.ca and you're going to click on e-library. We're gonna do that right now. And if you go a little farther down the page, I'm recording on an iPad, so this will look different if you're on a computer or on a smartphone. It's a little farther down. Now that you can notice, you'll see there are two of them, Novelist Plus and Novelist K-8. to So K-8 to is specifically, obviously, for children that are in kindergarten to grade eight. We're going to, today, we're gonna to look at Novelist Plus. They both work in a very similar way. So you'll just tap on it and it will open. And at, when you're at home doing this, it's going to actually ask you for your library card number, the number that begins with five twos, and your PIN. Because I'm already signed in, it isn't asking me for that. So this is what you see when you first open up Novelist. Lots of great information on Novelist. It can be a little overwhelming because there's so much of it. I think of it sort of like an onion. There are many, many layers to Novelist. So you can just do a general search or you can get really into it. So you can see there's on the home page here, there are some books that if you're in the mood for this, uh, well-researched and compelling or our voices, etc. And you can see they break it down by adult, teen, and ages nine to 12 and zero to eight. You can browse genres, all sorts of information on there. So one of the ways that I like to do it is if I know an author that I love, but I'm not sure what else to read, but I like something similar to them, I'll type it in there. So I'm going to type in Kate Morton. So this is just an author name. There we are. And we're just going to do search. So this is just a basic search. That will eventually open up. There we go. So this gives you a description of Kate Morton and what style her books are, that they're historical fiction. It also lists the character, the storyline, the pace, the tone, and the writing style. And that can be really helpful for figuring out what type of books you like. So you can see here right now it's listing all her books. And underneath it, you can see where it says title read-alikes and author read-alikes. So let's say you really, really like this book by Kate Morton. If you tap on title read-alikes, it's going to bring you up a whole bunch of different books that are similar in style. And what I really like about it, it will say why it's similar in style. So there's that whole list by title. You also might have noticed here on the right side where it says read alikes so that's bringing up all the different authors and we're going to tap on that who are similar to Kate Morton there we are so and the ones I have found personally the ones that are closest are usually in the first half of the list not that you won't like the other ones but they're the ones that are closer and it's nice because again they describe like what it is why they are similar in style so that's a great way to find authors if you're looking for something new to read. So that's a basic search. Now you can also do an advanced search and that just lets you build um, a search so that you could put it by author or title or publisher, etc. And then you could do another keyword and let's say you wanna put author for that one and you would build it from there. And then you can add some limitations about the publication date and all these different parameters. I don't tend to use this one as much, but it doesn't mean that it isn't good. So let's go back home. So, so let's see what else we can find on here. So Novelist is really great because if you're not sure how to do it, it has a how do I? So a, how do I find read likes? So if we tap on that, that's gonna bring up a help site and this will walk you through how to, to find read likes, which is what we're doing today. And they have a little video on there of how to do it. So lots of great things under that, how do I? Browse by is one that I really like to use. So if I wanna browse by, let's say mystery, I can tap on genre. And that's going to bring up all different genres. And again, you can see it breaks it down by audience. So adult, teen, children, et cetera. And it breaks it down by age for children. So you can scroll through, or if you know what genre you want, you can tap mysteries. And it's sorting what's new and popular. And mysteries, so some that are going to be published soon, cozy, historical, and then 
let's say you really like historical mysteries, you can tap on view all. So this is more of a browsing. If you're not really sure what you want and you don't want to do a read alike with your with an author or a title, this is a way you can look for new things to read just by browsing. So there we go. And then you can filter over here. So let's say I want something that's not the publication date different. I want something that has been published a little more recently. Sorry, that's my iPad. That's not the database. Okay, well, we'll leave that for now. But let's say I want fiction and I want adult. We're going to tap update results and that's going to narrow it down because right now we have 42,000, 4,200 results. So that's way too much to get through. And then we can filter further down by there's in mystery, there are sub genres. So you could filter down by historical mysteries. And then let's say you like something fast paced. So you can filter the, the pace and say, I want it fast paced. So you can really, really customize for exactly what you're looking for. And you can see it's already brought it down to 654 titles and we haven't even started with character or storyline or tone. So really easy to do. So I'm going to pick strong female for the character. We'll see how many results that brings up. So 40 titles, that's much more manageable to look at. Now you can sort by relevance or you can sort by the author title, the newest added. So we're going to say date added, which is the newest. So this way I'm seeing the most recent and then descending to the oldest. So let's just take a look at one of these. So it looks very similar to what you saw before when I was looking at Kate Morton, when I looked at her clockmaker's daughter, there we are. So it shows you the name of the book and the thing that I like, it has the genre. It will give you all the description and how fast paced it is, the storyline, the tone, the writing style. And you can tap on more about this book and that's going to give you even, even more than just the reviews. So then if you wanted to, you could just tap on fast paced and it's going to bring up titles that are fast paced. And again, you can then narrow it all down using these things over here. So that's one of the ways you can use it. That is, we found that under browse by and we did it by genre. So some of you probably have some book clubs that you're running right now, and there are some great resources here for book clubs. So especially for, oh, sorry, not especially for quick links, book club resources. So if we tap on that, you can see here, there's a whole page just dedicated to book clubs. So there's discussion guides, then there's hundreds of discussion guides and there's book club activities. So if you're not sure how to start a new book club, they have some information there. Really, really great content. And I found that under quick links and under book clubs. And you can see there's a whole lot else under there. If you happen to be a teacher, you could click on curriculum connections. There we go. And then you can see, you can filter by audience. So let's say we want children ages nine to 11. Let's see what article. So these are articles. So this is what's bringing it up. We're going to say we want the cause and effect chain reactions. So this is an article about that. And then they also give books that, that have whatever you selected in this case, it was, it was action and reaction. So really great content to use for teachers, um, books to movies. If you really like that style, you could just tap on that. There's genre outlines, there's grab and go book lists, future articles. There's lots and lots of things. Like I said, novelist is like an onion. There are many, many layers. There's lots of content in here, especially for, let's say you are, you're a teacher and you, maybe your, your students are looking for different books, but you're not sure what to get them suggest to them. You can click on, especially for reader's advisory. So this helps you learn how to do reader's advisory to learn about the different genres. And again, we've got the book clubs in there. So I encourage you to really delve into this. There are lots of content in here. If you just want to use it to find a title of a, of a book, some new authors, you can do that. I just searched by author before. You can search by title. Um, let's search by, we're going to do Marilla. Oops, spelled correctly. That was spelled wrong. So we're going to search by Marilla of Green Gables. We're just going to search that by title. So very much the same as when you search by author. So you can see it brings up all the same information. You see there on the right where it has read alikes right here. 
So you can view those. So it's read likes compared to that title. There we go. So you can search up here by keyword, title, author, series, or narrator, and that will always bring up results like this. So I hope you find this useful and you know you can always contact us if you would like some, some new author recommendations. You can also fill out our personalized book list form, which is on our website. And if you want, you can use Novelist on your own to find some new great reads. Thank you.